Hello, AD. Karen Gillen here. Welcome to my home. Come inside. We are in the foyer. Or is it the foyer? I feel like in the UK we say foyer. So I'm going to go with that. This is the foyer. This is the staircase that I like to sort of wander down in a like very regal fashion like this, like Welcome to my home. These are pictures that were taken by the actor Chris Lowell. Actually, one of these bums is my husband's. You have to guess which one. Which bum would I go for? So we are in the living room, and this is maybe one of my favorite rooms in the house. I love it so much. The sort of brief that we gave our designers was, we really want to entertain here. We want to play lots of games and drink some alcohol which leads me nicely to the bar, which I'm so worried about showing you because of how empty everything is. We just uh, have a lot of friends over and they just immediately go here and help themselves. And yeah, everything here is Scotch because I'm Scottish. For me personally, I like old things. That's why I bought such an old house. It's from the 30s. Pierce and Ward were amazing because first of all, I just loved their style already. So that's why we knew we wanted to work with them. These were couches that I, well, actually I had bought one of these couches. We decided to reupholster them and buy another one so we could have two. And now they look really cool and kind of a little bit older than they did before. And they just kind of like don't stick out too much and just blend into the room really nicely. This is the piano. This is a Steinway piano, which I'm so excited about because if you don't know anything about pianos, Steinways are where it's at. And it gets used a lot. Like people will drink the scotch and then come over and sing by the piano. It's kind of like a party from the 1940s or something. Do you want me to play a song? I'm nervous. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna put the soft pedal on so it doesn't burn your ears off. So this is the dining room. Here's where we dine and we will entertain friends, guests, and they can look at these art pieces. And then against this wallpaper as well. And it's different on the ceiling, like a chaotic wallpaper party in the best way. And then we have this nice table. And these chairs, these chairs remind me of my grandmother's chairs in Scotland. Actually, that's probably how I would describe this house. <laughs> a Scottish, older Scottish person's house. <laughs> So this is my office. This is my little cave. I love it so much in here. It's fun. It's filled with fun things that I like, like this, this guy, <laughs> which is fun because you can like, you know, take it apart. Like you can see right into the body. Funny story about this wallpaper. I loved the wallpaper so much at a glance because it like looks incredible. And then I like suddenly realized when I looked closer that it's fox hunting and I'm very against fox hunting. So. I now have like a wildly offensive wallpaper that I have to stare at every day. And these are all my little trinkets and things. Scary dolls from a short film that I made called The Hoarding. Oh, this is like a, I believe the first or the last slate from the film that I directed, The Party's Just Beginning, which was called Tupperware Party until Tupperware Party heard about the movie and the content of the movie and said, we want nothing to do with you, which was understandable. <laughs> oh, this is a wee nebula that someone made for me and gave it to me at a convention. Some people are so creative with the things that they make and I love to keep them because I'm like, oh, you put so much time and effort into this. And so it takes pride of place in my office. Whoever gave this to me, thank you. I keep it here. This is an axe from a short film that I made called Conventional, where I was an actress on the horror movie convention circuit and then get killed by a fan. Don't get any ideas. I love this kitchen so much. Oh. I love it. I wish that I was a person that cooked more, but I, I'm in here a lot, just not cooking. We put a new island in. We actually painted the floors as well. The walls are amazing. So the, these were all just like plain 
plaster. I don't know what they were made of, but they just looked like, you know, a boring wall. So we put in all of this wood and it just gives it an almost maybe like farmhousey feel, cozy and wholesome. What else can I show you in this room? These are fun, tassels. Who doesn't love a tassel? Everyone thinks that this is a swear jar, but it's not. I would be far more full if it was a swear jar. And also these are fun. I like having them in these little jam jars. There's something nice about that. I think my mum used to drink out of these things when she was a kid back in Scotland. So there's something kind of nice and sentimental about that. Welcome to the powder room. This is such a cute little room. The reason it's amazing though, is because of something you can't see right now because it's around the corner, but it is the coolest light ever. This is a custom mirror because this is a little bit of an awkward space. It's a wee skinny space. This is the TV room or the den. We have a giant sofa in here so that we can have lots of people over to watch things. This couch we had before we did the house up, but we recovered it in this amazing fabric that's such a nice color and apparently red wineproof. We watch a lot of films and actually, you know, I'm an actor, a lot of my friends are performers and so we will gather to watch each other's stuff um, to support each other. This is my Monopoly board art piece that was made by my dad. John Gillen. Uh, so basically when he was a kid, he decided that he wanted to recreate, I don't know why, but he wanted to recreate an entire Monopoly set. I thought that that was the coolest thing. And I was like, oh, it'd be good to display that in some way. So I asked him to turn it into an art piece for me. I gave him the note of like, I think it'd be really cool if it was like a freeze frame of somebody playing. I think it's really cool. Well done, John Gillen. Looks good. Oh, I have something else to show you. This little bird is from Aaron Paul's house. And I went to that house and I was starstruck by that house because I had watched the 80 video. I had to be like, oh, where's the bathroom? I know exactly where the bathroom is. Anyway, he gave me this because apparently everybody who goes to the bar in that house um, gets one of these. And so I have a little memento from my favorite AD video. How cool is that? This is the primary bedroom. The coolest bed I think I've ever seen in my life. We made it custom for the room. I think that it was a little bit tricky having this window here with a kind of full headboard. I think that it definitely blocked a fair amount of the light. And so we came up with the solution to kind of have this shaped bed and it just looks really cool. This used to be one giant room uh, and there used to be like a seating area over that way. I really wanted more wardrobe space for my clothes and stuff. So we decided to build this wall over here so that we could use the rest of the bedroom for wardrobe space. And actually it killed two birds with one stone because having a TV in the bedroom is really bad for you, but an absolute must for me. <laughs> that was supposed to be Tom Cruise in that film where he slides in. Anyway. So this is the wardrobe. This is where all the clothes live. I really love having a dedicated space to have all of your stuff because I feel like when it's like fully in the bedroom, it's just not good mentally, like seeing all that stuff. I think it's nice to have it shut away. There's more books in here, none of which are mine. Apart from this one, actually, this book is mine, Alice in Wonderland, which actually is probably another inspiration for this house. I love Alice in Wonderland, favorite Disney movie. Always has been, always will be. If you pan down, you will recognize this floor. Uh, so this is, we decided to repeat the floor from the kitchen. It's just to kind of like tie it all in. We really like the idea of certain features appearing again somewhere else in the house that's maybe unexpected. So this is the primary bathroom. Oh, I love this room so much because there's a bathtub in it. Love the bathtub. Also, I got to have this little station that's dedicated to doing makeup and stuff, which is just such a dream. And then also we did this floor, which is really nice. So this is the shower. It's huge, it's massive, which is lovely. And then this, oh, this is the best place in the world. Uh, I put the oils, the salts, and I love this as well. This is just all really cool. I think these are from Italy. There's one of these in the shower and it broke. 
And it was an ordeal to get that replaced because I believe it was maybe one of a kind or at least it was all the way from Italy. So that was a little bit tricky, but it's worth it because it looks so good. So we are in the spare bedroom. I love this room. I, I feel like I've said that about literally every room so far, but this one is the one that I really, really love. I think that the colors are really beautiful. These are fun. And then like these curtains match the bed. Oh yeah, this is a tassel, tassel house. There's a, lots of tassels. <laughs> There's a really interesting blue on the ceiling that you wouldn't necessarily think to put with this green on the walls, yet it looks like it should go together. Oh, there's something over there. This is a Highland cow. This is what cows look like in Scotland. And so it was really nice to just have a picture of one to make me feel like I'm there. So this is the back garden. It's lovely out here. We have a wee pool. It's a small pool. Someone's called it a dipping pool. It's fun because there's a, a sort of jacuzzi here. And then what you can do is kind of like throw yourself off the side and into the cold pool and you're sort of doing like a cold plunge and then you can get back into the nice warm one. We will do a fair amount of entertaining out here. I've thrown a few parties. We set up a little bar by the barbecue and then maybe a taco truck in the driveway or something and then just have all of our friends over and it's really nice. I've also had a dinner party out here around the tables. It's nice in Los Angeles to be able to eat outside. What a thrill. Well, AD, it has been a pleasure, never a chore. Thank you so much for joining me on this tour of my home. I hope you had a good time. I had a good one, but now you've got to go. So goodbye. Oh, you can still see me. Cool. Uh, right.